what do what do we do with Houston? Oh, what do we do with Houston here? And they they drew a tough matchup here with UAB. Yeah, right. I I don't know. This is one of those teams. They I mean, what did they do on Sunday? Did they help themselves or hurt themselves by blowing out Memphis? Looks good. I mean, Houston. So Houston's a good example here. They've got they've got all the metrics. The computers love Houston. But injuries, their their competition, their strength to schedule is the thing that kept them out of the, the the metric that we used before to determine national champions. I don't know what to make of Houston. Had that great run last year. I know it's a different team. UAB scrappy, man. I mean, UAB is ninth in three point shooting percentage, and they're getting Houston that's eleventh in three point shooting defense. So who wins that battle? I mean, that kind of neutralizes UAB. UAB is a trendy upset pick here. Under. Under. That's an under one for that you. Screams, that screams under to me for the game. The total is 135 and a half. It's come down. Some books have as high as 137. Open as high as 137 and a half. It's down to 135 and a half. I like that. Um, wow, that game's, those games are in Pittsburgh, B. Oh, I know. I know. I, I would be going if I was at home. That's incredible. I did not know that. Um, so I went through all the games yesterday. There's 11 games where the spread is four or less. There's 11 games where the spread is double digits. And then that leaves basically uh, 12 games where, no, 11, 11 is 22. So 10 games where the spread is in this pocket of not double digits, but over four. Houston's eight and a half, okay? Mm -hmm. That's one of those numbers in the book where the odds makers are telling you, this team's favored, but they're not good enough to be favored by double digits on a neutral. We know the public is going to bet the favorite, but we have to go find that dog money. You get it at eight and a half. You get it at seven and a half sometimes. And, and, and you'll see this thing. You won't see much line movement now on this, okay? What is your side in this? I, I, I think I like I think I like dog in this game, but I think Houston wins. Okay, I could buy that. I could buy that. I, I think I like your play. Let me give you a stat to back up your underplay. You ready from yeah. VEASAN? Yeah. Versus non-power conference foes. American athletic teams are 10 and four to the under 71% in the last 14 tournament games. So this applies. Yeah. That that's, might, that might be the way to go. I think that's the best bet in this game is the, is I, under the total. I, I watched, I, and I haven't seen a ton of UAB, but Andy Kennedy's a former Bob Huggins assistant. Those two teams played this year, West Virginia and UAB really entertaining came back in December. It was in Birmingham. Neutral court, but it counted as a home game for UAB. So they got a they got a, a quality loss to West Virginia there. That that's an impressive team. I mean, they're big, they're physical, they get after you. I mean, Houston does the same. I think your under call might be a pretty good one there. I'm gonna yeah. kind of look into that more. That's a good one. Now you talk about having fun in March, right? And watching these games and stuff. Do you have fun watching an under game? Are you good? Are you are do you like watching these defensive battles? I love it. I don't mind it. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you know me. I'm angsty. I just did a girls high school basketball tournament game here in West Virginia that was 3-2 at the end of the first quarter. 8-7 <laughs> at the half. Two two really good teams. The one team had two division 1 players on it. I mean, the one team wow. had two division 1, which in high school wow. basketball period in, in in unless you're loading up a team, that's unusual. And that's unusual here in West Virginia. It was actually <sighs> an entertaining game. Here's what I said. That some people say oh, that sets basketball back. I, I was entertained. There was good defense. <laughs> there was high drama. I looked up. I said, the score is what? It's three to two. So do I like under games? You're going to ask me, do I like under games? Yeah, whatever. Newbie, you do if basketball. I'm on the games? Under, Dave, if I'm on the under, I'll, I'll be angsty and root for bad shots and miss that and steal and knock it out of my, absolutely, whatever. Let's go. Newbie, you do play-by-play in basketball games and color analysts and stuff. 
Do you like the, the, the high scoring games or the tight defensive battles when you do the games? I mean, I mean, I'm a flashy light bling, bling, bling kind of guy. I like when they're lighting it up. I know what B house talking about. We had a County final that saw a, a bout, I think it was, I think it was close to 30 missed free throws oh. in a two minute <laughs> span to end the game. The arena B how was getting restless was getting restless. Oh, I I don't want to see that. Like, I don't buy the good defensive battle, but I just like this time of year, you just got to make your free throws. Like when you do the things right, you know, and lose, that's okay. I feel bad when these mistakes get made or like they cost themselves game. And I can tell you this in the book, when you miss those free throws, you got people screaming at those screens and they're all getting upset. Nobody likes that at all. And it's always the book's fault. Like, oh, you guys do this. And I, I, I say that all the time. We didn't know anything. Relax. Nobody knows shit. Stop. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, click on another video right here on the screen. And if you really liked it, consider subscribing below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.